Hello, Goranges are on view, this time for our sale on the 18th of March. Spring will be upon us, they say, and I'm sure it is. Anyway, interesting sale for you, good mixture. Going to pick out a few highlights just to whet your appetite. Uh, this sale includes um, vinyl and mid-century furniture, not unrelated items, I suspect. Uh, I'll talk to you more about both in due course, but drifting through the smalls, just having a look and picking out a few items to, uh, to intrigue you. How about lot 1743? We see lots of Chinese pith paper paintings or rice paper paintings, but that's a bit better than average. Rather good drop of sweet corn there with an aubergine, I suppose, um, showing there. It's in with two images of junks. Uh, I mean, tr typically these came in albums of 12 in an album and they'd be bought by uh, sailors and, and sea captains and, and soldiers and things sent out to China uh, and bring them back as a souvenir. We've got others in the sale, lot 1724, it's quite a nice pineapple with a sort of melon or gourd behind it. So a few of those scattered through the sale. There's also some Dalton and sort of early-ish uh, Fulham pottery, well, not, a, not that early, contemporary to Dalton Fulham pottery, which I'll point out in due course. How about over here, though? This catches my 1427. These sort of classic rabbits we associate with um, Silvac, but these are born Denby ware. And this is a nice big lot of Denby with some quirky things you don't see too often. Um, that all one lot there, nice big rabbits. There's a penguin, I think. Bibolo dish around the corner, the dog book ends, 1427. Good lot of Denby. There's another lot in the cell that might show you if I spot it that's equally curious. Still on about the Chinese, 1717, Peking duck, no less, or Mandarin ducks, I think those might be, and exotic flowers further on in other lots. Round the corner here, we wiggle our way round, it's still quite dense round here. Uh, what did I see down here? There's two more unusual Denby vases, 1408, penguins and, and um, pelicans, it's all the peas. Not pelicans, flamingos, <laughs> it's peas and Fs, early in the morning, um, showing there. Um, another curious lot, we talk about fairings, uh, these are a, a bisque porcelain, they're unglazed coloured bisque porcelain from the sort of 1890s, 1900s, probably German. So these are ashtrays, um, they're pretty... They have a sort of grotesque appeal, I guess. Um, how are you off for coals there? This character, he, was, he appeared a lot in um, prints and images and models. Snookums, he was called, this sort of whinging child. And I guess that's a match tidy. You'd keep your matches in, in, in the uh, reserve there. Then there's a little lady here reading a book rather nicely, uh, primly and properly. Sort of Mabel Lucy Atwell-ish, but not quite. And then get your hair cut. There you go. Isn't it? She or he? I, I don't know which. But um, So that's lot 1411. Amusing group there. Uh, look at that. There we go. Amusing group. And then the, the king's not looking too happy. What tax my land? Um, there we go. So um, that's a fun lot. Uh, down the end here, this caught my eye and I thought, wow, this is uh, most unusual and intriguing. Lot 1419, big white porcelain coffee pot. You think, oh, a bit boring. And then what's all this going on, waffling on on it? Well, it's actually rather interesting. So it's presented by the ladies of Peterborough to G.H. Wally Esquire um, as a mark of esteem for his indefatigable exertions dot 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 in the cause <laughs> of freedom of elections Gosh. and then it's may 1857 and there's a little um press through is their sort of motto and this i'm sure is women's suffrage and trying to get the vote which i would think at 1857 is is reasonably early comes with matching cups and saucers with the old press through motto in the bottom um, and some other unrelated but slightly similar porcelain. Mm. So I think that's politically and socially interesting and important, and it's unique as well because of these inscriptions. There won't be more of them about. So 1419, keep your eye on that. We will move on elsewhere. So running down the line here, lots of mixed box of records. Have a look in the, on the website, see what they're all about. But picking out for you, 1360, 
Royal Dalton, a lot of Royal Dalton is not at all popular these days, but the earlier the better. This will have a date code, probably impressed here where we can't see it because they stuck the sellotape on. Uh, we train them to do that. Um, but um, the, the way it's painted and the modelling suggests an early date. Had a foot broken off, not going to be huge money, but it's a curio. A uh, little bit older, also Dalton, 1362. This sort of... Art Nouveau inspired stoneware vase has the initials MVM, Mark, I think it was Mark Marshall. So uh, it's Royal Dalton, so it's probably after 1901, but, um, and a bit brown perhaps, but still quite a nice vase. That, just up from it, a bit of Maolica, not English, but continental, but a good model, but sort of grotesque, curious model, the frog on the melon, 1364. So there we go, some uh, interesting ceramics. Uh, etc. But now vinyl, I want to talk to you about vinyl. Sounds of the 60s, from memory, from something like, I did look this up, I've forgotten already, from the, from the 70s through to the 90s, I think that's right, Brian Matthews, Radio 2 DJ, presented it every week, distinctive voice, his record collection is in the sale. So all sorts of interesting things, principally demo discs given to him to play early on the radio. So there's Presley demos, there are Stones, Beatles, all sorts. Um, James has catalogued it all. He's not here today to talk to you about it, but he's catalogued it all, so he can tell you more about it. But he's divided them all up into appropriate lots. Here we go, this is another example. Demonstration record, not for sale. Gosh. Yes, it is, the Beatles, what's the other side? Ticket to Ride, I think we've all heard of that one. Um, so there we go, I don't know how rare these are. I don't think they're mega, mega rare. But still, they are certainly scarcer than the, the standard single um, and nice that it came from his collection. So have a good look at the website for that because there's all sorts of interesting things. And other later albums from other sources. There's some Rolling Stones up there, Led Zepp, etc. Signed photo of Amy Winehouse. So uh, it's, not all, it's not all back in the day. Some of it's more recent. So what does that take us on to? Silver. I've sort of fallen backwards and surrounded by silver. Huge quantity of silver. Always trying to show you something different. Isn't always easy, but how about these? These are different. This is lot 1877, and uh, they are detail. beautifully. I'm going to spin them round. We're back on ducks again. Look, there's always a theme here. We just don't know it until it happens. Um, Mandarin ducks on, on this lovely sort of matted finish silver. We've got, they're, they're stamped um, with foreign marks. Roger will have identified them, but they are silver of a foreign nature. You've got a pair of chopsticks and a pair of spoons in there. So that's a little bit different. What else caught my eye? Well, here, this uh, lot 1861. This is, where can I put it that you can get to it? We're a bit cluttered here. This looks a bit like Stuart Devlin, but it's, it's actually Mappin and Webb um, inspired by Devlin. So you've got your condiment set there with the, um, I guess, a salt, a then single salt shaker and a, a, a pepper and a pepper mill as well. So a bit of a sort of mix. You've got options for how you want to deliver your uh, condiments there, but a, a, a nice stylish lot. Um, and then, there were, I'm sure there was something, oh, I was going to show you these sauce boats, more traditional but lovely and chunky, look at those, big substantial Huge. sauce boats, lot 1833, uh, date wise around about 1900, retailed by Carrington and Co, um, and they're a pair, so lovely big sort of substantial lot, uh, other, uh, various other sort of nice chunky silver, this pair of um, coffee pots up here in the Georgian style, not quite a pair actually, 1830, and 1831 uh, in that early Georgian style and then all sorts of other goodies hidden away under there we've got a coronation chair there lacking the stone of skill or, or is it meant to be there I don't know anyway uh, coronation chair 1851 uh, tea wares all, all sorts under there really good mixture so uh, lovely lot to come and have a dig through I didn't do much about the pictures other than those Chinese works, but I will do some pictures for you another day. But we'll go and have a look in the warehouse to round off. Okay, so here we are in the warehouse. And what have I got for you? Well, how about a triptych mirror? Look at that. That's uh, parcel gilt, heavy dark surround. But the real key to it is when you close it. Look at that. So it's uh, decorated with a uh, mother and baby in a wheelbarrow. Don't do this at home, mothers. Uh, that's lot, so that's unusual. That's lot 1082. Uh, 
flowing on with the mid-century theme, look at these sort of stylish corner chairs, lot 1021. Uh, to my left, this is classically Urkel, lot 1034, in this lovely sort of soft elm uh, finish. Looks like six chairs with it. I sold one of these a couple of weeks ago for about seven, eight hundred pounds. So this is the model everyone seems to want at the moment. Um, forget the old stuff. And then carrying on backwards, stylish coffee table there, lot 1035, nice sweeping under frame. There's, uh, there's more, there's sort of teak dining furniture, and then scattered amongst them, some carpets and rugs as ever. Something very jazzy over there. Oh, yes. That's really got some colour. Um, not so jazzy, but rather stylish. If I lift up these tables, there we go, look at that. That's a. Um, so it's either silk. silk or part silk. I mean, right. when one brushes the hand across, you can sort of feel it. Um, let's have a look. We've got a label. Sometimes you've got a label, particularly on the newer ones. No, nothing there to state any more about it, but uh, a silk sort of Tree of Life type rug. Mm. Uh, lot 1094. Those are fun. Those They're rather stylish, aren't they? they? Look at those. That is lot 1019. Drops down. Great Just, fun. Yeah, pleasing on the eye, mm. aren't they? Um, and then in amongst it, other more uh, older, older bits of furniture, as always. So things like this pair of um, open bookcases, slightly unusual, useful to have the drawer. Nice slender model, adjustable shelves, lot 1091. So it's not all mid-century. In amongst it, we've got some uh, other more regular fare. So come along and have a look. Um, well worthwhile, as ever, but, but you know, this stale sale stands out as being more interesting than uh, than of late and i generally the feeling is the market is picking up housing market is is sort of starting to flow and there's certainly more going on and more coming in so we'll be showing you more interesting things throughout the year and hopefully that's a promise thank you very much for watching